Clip onto Seth. There's uh, Matt Damon there. More of him later. <laughs> just employed. It's got Matt Damon to do the catering. Why not? Yeah. Right. We're on set. Let's talk you through my uh, trailer. There we are. You can see uh, glamour of the lights. Just like you see in the movies. Well, there's a few bulbs missing, if we're honest. I still see myself in the mirror, but there, well, it's not even, not even half the bulbs are there, really, are they? In many ways, some people would say this was a bit like a 1970s caravan. No expense has been spared. Here's my wardrobe. Here's where the transformation happens. All silk, all these. They look, they have to look fairly stuffy for the character, but they're all actually silk made for me in Thailand and flown over. Air conditioned, of course, this trailer. As you see, there's the air conditioning unit there. Looks a little bit like a heater that you might find in Argos for $9.99, but I'm told a very sophisticated air conditioning system. Bring you back so you can see the Transformation has now happened from uh, from someone who looks, in reality, no older than 23, 26, 26, to a middle-aged fusty teacher. It's the magic of costume for you. It's outside my trailer, just thought we'd have a quick look round. There it is. The name in lights on a piece of A4 paper. Toilet. Here's the toilet. Straight opposite my trailer. I can use those pretty much whenever I want to use them. Generally, as a rule, I don't. Yeah, don't. I don't shit. Don't shit. It's just something I've. It's evolution, really. It's just something I've got rid of out of my system I found the day-to-day -day convenience of going for a shit particularly when you're on set a little bit awkward a little bit embarrassing so I thought well I'm gonna stop doing that I think it's like anything in life if you if you put your mind to it if you mind over matter really so I haven't now had a shit for three years nearly three years now hasn't affected me it's uh, some of the other dressing rooms here Will Mackenzie, Simon Bird, little midget, I don't know you're familiar with him. He should be on set. What I'm quite interested to know is whether or not his dressing room is nicer than mine. Maybe a bit out of order to just go in it. Pretty unsavoury smell coming from there. Someone obviously not uh, not trained himself out of that nasty shitting business yet. Don't know whether he's free now, he's probably busy, but I'm gonna have a chat with Matt Damon at some point. So, yeah, I think we might be in now. We're gonna have a quick chat with him. All right, Matt? Oh, all right, yeah. What, uh, talk well, us through, what, know, what sort of things have you done? Well, since the old, uh, Goodwill hunting, you know, I've had quite a few, mainly just action films. And, yeah. You know, I've been sort of stuck in a rut with the old Bourne trilogy and, you know, I've done Ultimatum and then so I've done The Informer, that's put on a bit of weight for that, so, yeah. you know, I, I wasn't too happy, but, you know, I slimmed down then and I've done Green Zone and, uh, you know, still got to pay the bill, so here I am. Catering? Yeah. Enjoying it? Well, you know, there's not as many girls involved, but it's quite good fun. Right. Thanks, Matt. No problem. Good luck with the lunch, yeah? Yeah, thanks. we we'll pop onto set. See what's going on for a little bit. One of the rules on site. Very, very strict. Absolutely no hot beverages to be taken into the set. People say as you get older, you lose that sort of sense of rebellion, that streak of wanting to stick it to the man, as it were. Well, 
but you can see what that is. Cup of tea in it. See if we can't shake things up a little bit. Dear, oh dear. Definitely on set, no doubt about that. Prove it. Well and truly on set now, as you can see. Simon Bird there. Oh, I fogged up the thing. Fogged up the lens with my... Uh... I don't think I'm mental. He's just talking to himself. The writer Ian Morris? Yeah, I thought you got mental. I heard you rambling to yourself in a white corner. I just, uh, I just went to do a bit of rebellious video piece where I broke into your trailer, <laughs> opened Give the door, opened the door. Actually, felt a bit guilty. Closed it again. <laughs> <laughs> so it would appear not the rebel I thought I was, or am I? You're the writer, and producer there. If these characters were were real. Yeah. Is there any of the characters you particularly want to sleep with? Who'd be top of your list? The boys, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> After the boys? Well, oh. it's mum, obviously. I mean, yeah, it's the obvious. That's oh, creepy, yeah. though, isn't it? Because <laughs> she'll see this and... Oh, my God. Anyone else feature? Uh, I think Kennedy. Kennedy, interesting. The, the paedophile character? Yeah, oh, yeah. Wayne. Wayne. Wayne, basically, not Kennedy. Wayne... Wayne, Wayne the actor. Wayne the actor. Chris? Uh, if they were real, well, yeah. Mr Gilbert. I want two. Oh, Mr. Gilbert. Mr. Gilbert. Mr. Gilbert. Mr. Gilbert. Hard. Right. In. His. Ass. <laughs> One of the things that's getting a little bit much at the moment is Simon Bird uh, coming to my trailer an awful lot. Um, I just think he's maybe he's lonely. I think he's maybe lonely and sees me as a father figure, but it's becoming an issue. Um, I mean, I'll just pop back here now. Let's see what happens. Let's see how long it is before uh, Mr. Bird comes for one of his chats. Ah, hello, Simon. Just come for a chat. Yeah, yeah, just a quick line run. Okay, fine, I'll do it. But I'm still exercising my right to protest. Good. Just try not to make it a dirty protest like the last one. <laughs> too much? Yeah, too much. Okay. Too big. Okay, Think of the Chuck, uh, Chuck of Brothers. Uh, always too big. <laughs> Bring it down to, yeah. Here I am with one of the stars of the Inbetweeners, young Blake. All right, Blake? Hi, right, Greg. Just going to do a quick interview, is that all right? Yeah, no worries, mate. This is just my... Uh, my stretching art to limber up before a scene. Yeah. You know? I'm, ju I'm just trying to think of the best angle to get you from. Put sure. Maybe... Uh, from about there? Yeah, maybe... About, about there. <laughs> maybe but, something like... Yeah. Something like... Something like that, so, yeah. It's my, uh, my little pant tent. Is that... Are you relaxed? Yeah. There you go. Okay. I don't want to get the, give the wrong impression, so I'll just... Well, let's make it as serious yeah. as we can. Okay, yeah, sure. No. So, um... How's it going? They're filming alright? Yeah, it's going really well actually. We've uh, it's done a very nice scene. Me, yourself and, and Bird, as you know. It's, Went alright, yeah. It's gone pretty well. Let me ask you a question. Sure, shoot. What uh, specifically do you think that you've learned from me? From you? During this as, process. As a mentor, as an acting mentor. What, whatever you like, I mean, whether it's life lessons or whatever. Well, that's, that's the beauty of working with you, that you kind of get a bit of, a bit of everything. So top three, Blake? Top three? Uh, would be um, try try to be taller than most of the other actors around you. Height's oh, important. Lesson two would probably be um, if you fuck up your lines, yeah. be as offensive as possible yeah. towards the end of the take so that no one gives you any grief about it. It's not so much a bollocks wank, it's more of a fuck in the mouth. Get out of my office. And we'll pretend this conversation never said <laughs> And finally, what have you learned about women from me? Women are animals. That's just like, correct. <laughs> just 
just like, just we're, like. We've almost got it. Women animals we, and women, women are animals and, and not to be trusted. Never trust them. Never trust them. And women are animals. I think my work here is uh, pretty much done. Just finished this little interview with a close up on young Blake's dick. There we are. Zoom right in on that. Yeah. Yeah, alright man. Well I'll drop a, I'll drop a bag of washing off to you tomorrow then. That's code. Drop a bag of washing off. Sick. These bloody kids are sick. They've brought some kids in, some uh, supporting actors, uh, to be in some of the scenes. They uh, haven't seen me, haven't met me yet, so I thought as I've got a few minutes, pop on and just make their days, as it were. Give them a little bit of something a bit exciting. One of the cast members, one of the main members of the cast. Go on and see them. Have a little chat. See if we can't bring a few smiles to a few kids' faces. Here we go. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Great. Great to have you on board. Just have a chat with some of you, if that's all right. Uh, all right, girls. So, who's your um, who's your favourite character? Will. Be well. Right. Okay, and yours? Simon. Cool. Simon's good. Yeah. And what about you? Any favourite character? Simon. Simon's as well. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else? No. Any of the older characters, maybe you like? No. No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> girls. Favourite actor? Simon. Simon. Bill. Simon. Let me ask you a specific question. You. Do you like any of the... Do you like, like any of the teachers? No. Not really? No. See that? See that? That's what kids are about today, isn't it? That's what kids are all about today. Nasty. Nasty little. Just on the uh, set of the fashion show, one of the episodes, and a little wander around. A little bit of a reminder in this part of the set of what happens if you cross me. Uh, we had a disabled actor on, plucky lad, was doing a perfectly good job. Uh, was a little bit brusque with me I felt at lunchtime had a word with the director gone gone, gone home replaced with an able bodied actor so a little bit of a message for everyone there very much equal opportunities where I'm concerned don't mind where you're from how able you are have a bit of respect or Home time. Back to the bungalow. Where's my fucking change? That's a fucking bunch. God, thank you. Bad language there. That's what this show's all about, though, isn't it? Children swearing. Little arrogant children using bad language. I don't know. In the course of this video, I'm beginning to wonder what it's all about, to be honest. Kids. Not interested in anything apart from poppers and getting at each other. Bad language. See them? Walk past them. Didn't even glance at me. Cunts. <laughs> 